Okay, welcome, welcome back at C Square. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the coordinate system. The coordinate system is formed by the intersection of two number lines. The first one is the x axis, and the second one is the y axis. Uh, the x axis is a horizontal axis, and y axis is a vertical axis. They, these two intersect in this point, which is called the origin point O. Point O, by the way, has the uh, coordinates 0 and 0. Coordinates, if you notice here, I have a point 1 and 2. The first one represents the x coordinate, which means the horizontal movement, left or right, from the origin. The second one is the y coordinate, which is the vertical movement, up or down, from the origin. Also, these two axes, x axis and y axis, divide the, uh, the rectangular grid in four quadrant. Quadrant one, where the x and y coordinate are positive. Quadrant 2, where the x uh, coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is positive. Quadrant 3, where the x coordinate is negative and the y coordinate is also negative. And the last one, quadrant 4, where the x coordinate is positive, the y coordinate is negative. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to plot points. And I'm going to start with this one. First one, A, negative 3, and 3. From this origin, I'm going to move 3 left, 1, 2, 3, and 3, 1, 2, 3. This is point A, and this one is in quadrant 2. Point B, here, uh, negative 2 and 3. From the origin, I'm going to go 2 left, 1, 2, and 3 down, 1, 2, 3. This is the point B, which is in quadrant 3. Point C, which is 1 and 3 from the origin, I'm going to move 1 right and then 3 up. 1, 2, 3. Right here, it's point C, which is in quadrant 1. The next point is point D, 2 and negative 3. So from this origin, I'm going to move 2 right, 1, 2, and 3 down, 1, 2, 3. This is the point D, which is in quadrant 4. My next point will be point E, 0 and 3. So from this origin, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to just move 3 up, 1, 2, 3. This is point E, which is on the y-axis. This point is not on quadrant 1, nor on quadrant 2. And the last one we, uh, I have here, point F. Negative uh, 2 and 0 from the origin. I'm going to move 2 left, because it's a negative 2, and stay there. This is the point F, which is on the x-axis. Uh, two things to uh, be aware of, very useful. On the y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0. On the X axis, uh, the Y coordinate is zero. They are useful information later in algebra. My last example here will be uh, to identify points in the rectangular grid or in the coordinate system. So let's start with this point E, the first point E. This one, if you notice, I have to go from this origin one, two, three, right and one up, three and one. That is in quadrant one. Point F. Point F is on the y axis, and from this origin, I'm going to move just three units up. So the x coordinate is zero, and the y coordinate is three. Point G. From the origin, I have to move 1, 2, 3 left, and 1, 2 up. Point G, 3 left, so that means negative 3, and 2 up. Uh, positive 2, and that is going to be quadrant 2. Point H. Point H here, uh, we have to move 1 left, and 1, 2, 3 down. 1 left, that means negative 1. 3 down, that means negative 3. And that will be in quadrant 3. Point K. 
is again on the y-axis, one unit down, so it's going to be 0 and negative 1. Point um, i, for that one you move one unit to the right and one, two down. One and negative two, that will be in quadrant four. And I have a last point, point J, which is on the x-axis. And for that reason, from the origin, I'm going to move one, two units to the right, so two and zero. And that is going to be x-axis. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.